We're back. I'm standing here on the grounds at Evraz Place, home to Canada's farm show for more than 44 years. We're excited to welcome back our visitors, our partners, and our exhibitors. If you wish to be exhibitor at Canada's Farm Show, registration is now open. Go to canadasfarmshow.com and place your registration. We're gonna see you here in June. We look forward to welcoming back all of our exhibitor partners to the show. We've got plenty of room to grow and be innovative in your booth and exhibitor space. There are many exhibitor opportunities and benefits. We are Canada's largest interconnected indoor event complex with over 1.9 million square feet. We have flexible display space for vendors of any size. We are an indoor show, that means weatherproof and air conditioned. We've had no increase in rates for the last five years and we'll maintain that for the 2022 registration. In attendance are producers and international buyers from more than 50 countries. We have over 3,000 parking spots on site, including some premium parking availability. Ask us about the opportunity to host large on-site events during the show in the Brand Centre and Mosaic Stadium as well as meeting rooms in Queensbury Convention Centre. Exhibitor registration for 2022 is now open. Head over to our website to book your booth space, canadasfarmshow.com. Hi, welcome Hi. to Gilgamesh Industries. Come Thank on in. Thank you. Welcome to this segment of Canada's Farm Show. I'm joined here today with Derek Molnar, Territory and Marketing Manager of Dagoman Industries right here in Regina. Derek, thank you so much for inviting me here. As a farmer myself, it's always cool to have a tour of the factory and there has been Dagoman equipment on my family farm for longer than I've been around. So it's pretty cool to take a tour through the factory and see what you're working on today. So thanks for having me. Yeah, it's great to hear. I'm glad you guys were able to stop by and it's always fun when you can see where the equipment kind of gets made before it ends up on your, on your yard. Especially because it's built right here in Saskatchewan. That's right. So I wanna get into some of the history around Dagoman, but first I wanna know a little bit more about you. Tell me about your, your background and how long you've been with Dagoman and what's a day in the life uh, for Derek? Yeah, I started working for Dagoman um, back in 2008 uh, when they had a distributor down in Minot, North Dakota. I, was, uh, I went down there for school and to play some football. Originally born and raised in Regina, went down there for a bit and, and worked for them until 2013 when Dagoman made their own manufacturing facility in Hillsborough and I moved uh, back north, back home, and now I work out of Martinsville, Saskatchewan, where I handle the northern part of Saskatchewan as a territory, and then, yeah, do the marketing for, for Dagoman as well. Very good. So there, there is the factory here in Saskatchewan, and there is still an operating factory down in the U.S. as well? Correct, yeah. Hillsborough, North Dakota. We've been expanding there for the last few years. We're manufacturing dozer blades, and land rollers, and pro tills, and we're actually hoping to expand a little bit more just to, to meet the, the high demand that we're facing down in the U.S., so it's been pretty exciting times down there. So Dagelman is not a new startup company. I think it, based on your website and some of the great history that you have on your site, it was Wilf Dagelman that started the company back in 1962. 1962. And by the sounds of it, it was the rock picker that made him famous and, right. and got the ball rolling. But you certainly have a longer product line since the original rock picker. Can you tell us a bit about what the product line's like? Yeah, we, we've definitely expanded from that first real type rock picker back in 1962 and out of Raymore, Saskatchewan. And, and you know, over the last decade, we've really kind of dipped our toes into the, the tillage market with our pro till high speed, high performance disc that's really opened up big area for us to work with especially into uh, the Midwest the United States and in other areas as well and the, the experience that we're having with the tillage market is allowing us to put that towards some of our other products like our heavy harrows with our new Strawmaster Plus and our new uh, disc harrow Strawmaster X. I did, made a few phone calls and was messaging people about what my schedule looked like for farm show coming up and Every time I mentioned I was coming to Dagoman, there was one common word when I asked them about their own experiences with Dagoman, and it was tough. It was always just tough equipment if they gave me a simple answer. And actually, I was, I was on a phone call with my dad this morning, and I was telling him what I, I was coming to, 
to tour the Degelman factory and he told me there was been Degelman equipment on his farm since before he farmed, that my grandpa had a rock picker and a dozer mm. and all of these other things and, and he described it as bulletproof. <laughs> and I come from a family of hunters so we could probably test that That's if you right. needed to, but it, it sounds pretty accurate. Yeah, when Wolf started everything with a really simple mon uh, mantra of building things simple, building things tough and building it right the first time and we've always, anytime we've developed products, we've always kept that in the forefront of our mind. Everything from the, the welds we put on our machine, the tubing, we build everything as big as we can without overdoing it. You, you want to go big, but you don't need to, to overdo it to, to make yourself feel tough. And then simple things like including quick start manuals so that when that implement gets delivered on a, a Saturday afternoon, you're, you're ready to rock on a Sunday morning when, when it's time to go. And just the, the simple blue marks you'll see to see that the torque is done properly. So we just, we want to make owning a Dagelman a, a high level experience. And yeah, we've always thought of ourselves as a premier manufacturer and we like to build things heavy and tough so that it does last. It's really cool to see that we have, you know, 570p pickers from, nine, from the 70s still running in the field. So it's pretty incredible to see that stuff. Not only are they still running, but I believe that some of them are priced higher than they were originally brand new yes. because they're still a, a worthy piece of equipment in the marketplace today. So I think that's a true testament. Yeah, it's always kind of interesting to see at, at auctions and you know just online at what things are going for now and the value of what a new one is. And it's, uh, it's yeah, it's just a testament to, to what Dagelman's been doing for 60 years now. So how many employees uh, does, Dag does Dagelman have here at the Regina factory? I think uh, we're close to 200 at the Regina factory, and then I think we employ another 50 or so um, down to the U.S. So I think our, our company's sitting around that 250 employee mark um, as of last year. And would you be experiencing some of the same labor issues that some of the other industries are experiencing here in Saskatchewan? Yeah, Dagelman's sure. definitely not immune to everything that's going on in the year 2021 right with be it supplier shortages or work labor shortages and you know we're managing you know as well as we can but yes it's it's been a it's been a difficult year in that sense on a manufacturing side um, and I think that a lot of manufacturers and, and dealers even uh, that are dealing with some of these other big-time manufacturers are, can basically tell you that yeah it's been tough to get iron yeah yeah, there's certainly been issues not only pulling people into the industry, but also uh, some of the manufacturing materials that you're using will, will suffer the consequences of the pandemic, I'm sure. Yeah, I know shopping for a truck's the same way right now. There's it's a, Some of those lots are ghost towns and it's, it's really any industry and agriculture is no different. So the relationship that Canada's Farm Show has had with Degelman is a long one. In fact, I, I believe as the story goes, in, in 1978 was the first uh, show. It was originally called Western Canada Farm Progress Show, and it was shortened to Farm Progress Show, and now it is Canada's Farm Show. So and in 20 years, it'll just be Farm Show. <laughs> we might just keep on shortening it. And then it. in 20 more years, it'll just be show. <laughs> Possibly. We could just start referring to it as just the show. show yeah. yeah. And Dagelman has been an exhibitor of the show for all of that time, at, like from the very beginning, for 44 years, Dagelman has been an exhibitor at Canada's Farm Show. And so we certainly appreciate you as an exhibitor. The Regina Exhibition Association Limited, REAL, is a not-for-profit organization. So the money that is generated there stays here in the province. So we appreciate your support. But I am interested to know, as a company, what, what value do you see? What benefit do you get from being an exhibitor at Canada's Farm Show? Yeah, I think as legend has it, we were number two on the list of exhibitor signups. So we we got in on the you know the ground floor all those years ago, and it's always been an important show for us. Um, one being that we're we're local, right? We're just down the road. It's it's our stomping grounds, and there's been a lot of pride uh, at the show because you know the Dagelmans were were born and raised in the area. They have family, they have peers, and it was an opportunity to show. Um, before the internet, before everything, that was the opportunity to show what we're working on. Um, here's what we're, here's what we have to offer. And I know that it was always the show that we chose to introduce new products at. So if we had a new product, we always made sure it was ready and available um, at the, you know, the, the farm show in Regina. And that meant if it was paint, I'd get painted the night before in order to make it down there, um, that's what we did. So it was always an important show for us to showcase who we were as a company and what we were working on. And um, I think to this day, it's still an important show for, for product introductions. And I think the show has actually really leaned into that as well with their, you know, they, they have initiatives to introduce new products. So it's, it's been important for us in that regard. 
I think with Canada's farm show, we're, we're hoping to hit the ground running again in June, June 21st to 23rd of 2022. We hope to be out there back on the grounds and, and welcoming exhibitors. But as a marketing manager, you have options. You have a lot of ways that you can reach your customers. So is there something about trade shows that works well for the, your manufacturing company? Absolutely. I think if the last year has taught us anything is that a lot of things can manage online with the internet but it can only get you so far it's easy to go to a website and get a snapshot of what that product offers how much it weighs how many grease zerks it has etc but at the end of the day with a product like Dagoman, you just can't beat that face-to-face -face interaction with a product like that where you can go to the machine and look at the quality of the welds you can look at the size of the tubing used you can look at the you know the the greaseless pins the oversized greaseless pins that just don't really you can't get that idea online but when you see it in person it makes sense as to oh that this is heavy duty this is the next generation of what this should be and so I think that uh, you know the, the move to everything being online works for a majority of things but nothing does beat that face-to-face -face interaction with the customer you can hear from them how their year went they can tell you what they're looking for in their equipment and then you have an opportunity to sell them on what you think is the, the right tool for their application yeah well, Derek, I can't wait to get back on the grounds at Canada's Farm Show in June, and we certainly hope that you will join us there. And by the sounds of it, there might be some wet paint that you might get on your shoes while you're kicking the new equipment. That's right. <laughs> but we, both Derek and I, hope to see you at this year's Canada's Farm Show. And you can catch all of those details on our website, uh, on demand at canadasfarmshow.com. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more.